welcome back to Hobby King Live. Alongside Max, I'm James with another fantastic product profile, this time on a super fast wing that has just released on the new items page, so definitely check the link here uh, to the Sonic FX from H King. So now Max, obviously you took this thing out of the box yourself and you spent a lot of time building it. Talk us through uh, what how it comes and uh, what's in it. Well, if you mean a lot of time is maybe five minutes. <laughs> um, so it's a plug and fly wing, uh, comes with motor ESC servos already installed. All you have to do is add your radio gear and glue on these little vertical stabilizers and you're ready to fly. That's a beautiful thing. We couldn't believe how easy it was when it came out of the box. It was packaged perfectly. Mm -hmm. We have no dings on it. It looks fantastic. And uh, we can't wait to see it go. But Max, what is this? What are some of the specs on the Sonic? Uh, inside the front here, you have a 40 amp ESC already pre-installed. And that's connected to a 2212, 2280 kV brushless outrunner on the back. Yep. It's using a 6x4 propeller. You have two 9 gram servos in the wings already pre-installed for you again. And then uh, radio gear we're running, of course we're running our Tyrannus, and that's connected to an X6R receiver, and we're gonna be using a uh, 2200 3S battery to uh, fly this guy. Perfect, so we got, we couldn't ask for a more perfect day here in New York. The weather is gorgeous, we have hardly any wind, and as you can see behind us, the ocean on the North Shore of Long Island looks great. So we got a beautiful setting, we got a great plane, so let's take it up for a flight. All right guys, so best way to launch this, hand launch, they give you a nice little place to put your fingers. And it was no problem for the Maiden because we just test flew it. And now we're going to fly it for you guys. So let's do it, Max. You ready? Yep. And just like that, she is up. So guys, as I said, yeah, we just made this thing out over the ocean, which probably isn't always the best idea, but we had faith in it. Max had faith in it and it did not disappoint. Check out this speed right now. <laughs> Plug and fly out of the box, that is not bad at yeah, all. Yeah, guys, if you want something that you don't have to put, put virtually no effort into the build and just get out there and fly with some speed, anybody who might be into fixed wing racing, this might be up your alley. I don't know if he'd be a professional racer, but definitely a practice guy, right? Definitely. Or if you just want something to fly around. If you have extra 2200s and an extra receiver, three or four channel receiver, buy one of these. They're, yeah. It's great. I needed almost no trim out of the box uh, to get her flying straight when we put her up in the air originally. Yeah. And I'll show you right now, as much as she does fast really well, it'll fly slow equally as well too. Yeah, which is really impressive, guys. Yeah, something you don't usually see a lot with fast wings is they get kind of dumpy as you get really slow. Yeah. If I can slow this uh, this guy down, it flies really well. Look at that. It's nice and quiet. And the controls are still uh, performing well. I'm not losing any control over it. I'm very confident I'll fly it out right over the water this slow. The It doesn't feel like it's going to tip stall or stall out on me. I'm probably quarter throttle right now, maybe less. Fantastic. And it's nice and quiet too, so if you don't want to bother your neighbors, you can fly around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, slow. yeah. You definitely will need some space though when you want to open it up. Oh, but. Yeah. You just want to fly nice and slow. This looks like it'll be a great FPV platform as well. Mm -hmm. You'd obviously have to do a little dirty work to the canopy to get it to where you want it to go, but it's they, just foam. That's and then you just put the power back in and back up we go. And look at that. Straight well, vertical Like power. you were saying, there's definitely a lot of capabilities for this plane as an FPV wing. The wing is thick enough where if you wanted to put a transmitter inside the wing, yep. you could definitely do that. You could easily mount the camera on top of the canopy would be a great FPV platform. And it's plug and fly, so you don't have to do any work besides throw your camera gear on it or receiver in it, and you're good to go. Yeah. So now when we maiden this bad boy, we put in a fully charged A-Spec? Yep, A-Spec 2200. A-Spec 2200. We flew it for five minutes just because Max wanted to make sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was the reading about when you uh, pulled I, it out? I came down at about 11.8 or 11.9 total pack voltage, which I put in an extra three minutes on the timer because I didn't notice any performance sag when we were getting close to those five minutes. It was just a precautionary five. Yeah. And seven minutes could probably easily get more than that if you're not racing around as much as we are for filming right now. Yeah. Oh, it just looks so good. It's great. It flies really great. The performance is amazing. And I bet you you could, you could reprop it if you want to do a little more speed or a little more vertical thrust performance, but with the 6.4 that comes on its stock, I have plenty of vertical and the speed is great too. Yeah, I mean the only thing I would have to compare it to recently was 
the last wing we really came out with was the Skyray. Mm -hmm. And the Skyray, not nearly as fast. A great platform, but uh, yeah, this, this thing may just become my new favorite wing we sell. I don't know if I'm gonna let you fly it though. But yeah, <laughs> I'm probably not gonna fly it. I'm a beginner wing flyer. But I bet I could fly this. There goes Max with some inverted flight. Look at that. No problems. Barely well, any. Max is super confident <laughs> pilot, so he'll fly out over the ocean inverted and say it's super easy. But barely any, barely any down elevator to keep the nose up. And it, it's just a great flying wing. And the best part was, I just had to glue the vertical stabs on. Yeah, all all it was was a little glue and some radio setup. And do you have Expo in? Uh, hold on, this is gonna be loud. Woo! Uh, yeah, I'm running about 30% Expo uh, right now on Aileron and Elevator. Um, my controls are, I had them maxed out to uh, what the max the servos could get before they stalled just because I wanted to see what I could do. Right. So yeah, I have the uh, I had the rates turned all the way up, but you don't need to. A full, weight, full rate roll the way I have it set up is pretty quick. Oh, look at that. Nice. And again, you're pulling a thousand millimeter wing through the air with that, so it's not going to be super speedy. But nice and aerobatic for a wing. All right, I'm gonna come over the top here. We're gonna go back up. Half roll. Come back up. Full roll. Back up. I could watch Max fly all day, guys. He's so precise with his stick movements and just so in control of it. If I were to fly it, it definitely wouldn't look like that. But I think a beginner could fly this plane. Definitely. If you wanna plane that you want to fly for, with some speed, this would be a nice... I would say if you, know. you have experience with something like our Tough Trainer, which we just released, yeah. and you were comfortable with that, and you could do rolls and loops and stuff, you may want to check this out. This could yeah. be a second or third plane if you had someone working with you, definitely. Yeah. And you can tone it down. Like I said, you don't have to run the rates as high as I do, but you could definitely throw more XO in, turn the rates down, and have a really soft flying wing. That's half throttle, and that's just... Uh, that was hands off that pass. You can't beat it. Yeah. All right, so guys, as we were talking about before, this thing flies so great slow, so that makes landing it pretty darn easy. Mm -hmm. And Max makes it look very good, so I'll step out of the way. Look at him just glide in. Beautiful. <laughs> so guys, that'll about do it for the Sonic FX, another fantastic flyer mm -hmm. uh, from H-King. Mm -hmm. Max, anything else to say about it? If you're looking for a fast wing or even just a maybe a wing, you've never flown a wing before, this is definitely something to check out. It's extremely easy to put together. There's almost no work involved. Yep. And it uses a common battery, 2200 3S, and I'm pretty sure everyone has at least one or two of those laying Everybody around. Everybody has a 2200 laying around, I'm sure. So guys, again, that wraps it up for this product profile. Check out the new Sonic FX. It's from H-King. It's mm -hmm. on the new items page right now. And uh, we'll be back soon for another product profile. Yeah.